which you can see here, this is actually a, a prototype 3D application store that we put together. Nice. Really, this is running on the uh, NVIDIA Tiger 2 right. platform, so we're taking advantage of the 3D capabilities of that. Also, this is uh, 4G LTE, so mm -hmm. you can, we can provide streaming audio and video, very right. seamless experience, uh, you know, switching between categories. Super quick, you're not waiting for you know, these load right. times, waiting for different stuff. Um, so, is this only apps? Or is this, can you get video or music on this store too? Oh, that, at this point, this is an application store. So, okay. we uh, Verizon has uh, things like Vcast Tones, right. Vcast, they have other stores which provide uh, ringtones and music and things along those lines. Okay. This is simply an application store. We've been working with, uh, we've been working with some developers like Gameloft right. uh, and Trendy, which is what you see here. This is actually um, uh, what is that? So, this is um, Dungeon Defenders. Oh, Dungeon game. Defenders. Okay. Yeah, and you can see here we have it being hosted on the Alienware laptop. Nice. And, and you can play with whoever's playing, playing on that. It's a multi-platform, multiplayer nice. gaming. All that over LTE? Tablet, absolutely. Nice. All over LTE. So this tablet actually is going to have an LTE radio at launch? This this currently, it has a Skycross antenna and a ZTE uh, LTE module. So okay. ZTE makes the module. Okay. Um, so... And this is, uh, we've been working with Trendy Entertainment with uh, Dungeon Defenders. Right. Uh, and also, uh, so Game Off built Asphalt 6, kind of tailored it to this platform to really, like I said, again, take take advantage of what you can get with Tiger 2 platform. Right. Um, until now, you know, they couldn't really put in a lot of these special blur effects and, yeah, yeah. and crashes they wanted to have. Now it's just uh, a whole new level of gaming. Yeah, and, yeah. And it's all come, brought to you on a tablet and fast 4G network. So. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, is that VCAS store going to be on the Motorola Zoom tablet too for Verizon? Uh, at this point, we have a VCAS application store. This 3D application store is what we're moving to. Okay. Right now, we have a 2D store, right. uh, which is available on, um, at this point, it's available on the Incredible, it's available on the Galaxy Tab. Uh, the Vortex and, and, and a couple other devices, so that most likely will be on the Zoom when it launches as well. Nice, and this is running Honeycomb, right? Uh, or what is at this running? point, this is uh, this is on 2.2, but this is like said, prototype, so by the oh. time it hits market, everything could, is subject to change. Okay, cool. So very likely would be more of a tablet based on this. Nice, so this, so this is Acer's uh, yeah. prototype Android yeah. tablet for Verizon. As you see, here's a 10.1 Acer Android tablet. 10.1 Acer. Um, absolutely, uh, and then, like I said, collaborative yeah, effort. Skycross, ET, right. uh, as well as the gamers, the gaming companies that we've been working with. So here's right. a couple of the features that are, that are on it. Oh, it's 8-point multi-touch, 1280 by 800. Actually, uh, you can put out full 1080p. 1080 HD HDMI. over HDMI? Nice. Yeah. That looks awesome. Yeah. Going to give uh, the Zoom itself a run for its money, too, when it comes out, especially if it's priced competitively. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, so that's the Acer tablet. Don't know exactly when it's coming out. It's in prototype stages right now from Verizon Wireless. I'm here with Frank. Thank you so much. Nice meeting you. You too. Thanks a lot. Signing out. Peace.